killer. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Gamer here, back again with another video, and today we are reviewing episode 98 for Dragon Ball Super. And I'm going to go ahead and just flat out say that this episode was very intense, very crazy, and a lot of shit fucking happened, but it was very enjoyable to watch, to say the least. The episode begins off... Wait, actually, I forgot to say the title of the episode. And the title of the episode is Oh, the, uh, oh Uncertainty, A Universe Disappears. Well, at least that's what it says on Crunchyroll. So the episode immediately already begins with what uh, what we were left off with last last week's episode, which is Goku being surrounded by the trio of dangers and just a couple other fighters from Universe Nine. And I mean, immediately the the fighting already basically starts. The trio of dangers go after Goku, and then Goku he's holding his own, and but the trio of dangers because there's three of them and they're like brothers and shit. They know how they fight, and they're basically just putting up a fight against Goku, and Goku's having a little bit of a struggle. And I don't know why. I mean, I understand why they did it. I understand why Goku's character did it. But for some reason, I got, like, really annoyed that Goku was basically holding back uh, during this entire fight with the Trio of Dangers. For some reason, I got I got really annoyed. But I, I, I completely brushed it off, and I, I got I got over it because I understand why they did it, especially, like, overall, how the episode just ends in the fighting scenes and shit like that, because they were so good, I kind of just brushed it off and I didn't really care anymore. But, uh, Whis actually points out that the reason why Goku's not going into his Super Saiyan Blue transformation is because Super Saiyan Blue actually drains a lot of stamina very quickly. So if he were to go full out Super Saiyan Blue throughout the entire tournament, a lot of his stamina would be gone and the fight against uh, Jiren would be very, very, very hard and it wouldn't be a really fair match in Goku's eyes, I guess. I find it funny because the Supreme Kai of Universe 7 uh, was basically the only one who didn't really realize what was going on, but even the old Kai even pointed it out like how, that that was happening, so I thought that was very funny. Um, but yeah, Goku is just is fighting a one on three, one v three, and he's having a little bit of, of issues against the trio of dangers. And uh, it's not really important, but I find it funny how Universe Six with uh, and Champa, uh, Beerus's brother, is basically rooting against Universe Seven, and is rooting for basically Universe Nine to eliminate Goku and even Vegeta later on in the episode, uh, so that Universe Seven could basically be eliminated much uh, much easier because from the characters that we do have you know uh, on uh, on universe 7 it almost seems like uh, without Goku and Vegeta they would be, they would just basically lose immediately but we do have Krillin we do have Tien we do have Roshi Piccolo and all of them you know they're all very very powerful and especially Frieza and actually uh, Frieza was actually kind of enjoyable, or actually really enjoyable in this episode for the brief appearance uh, appearances that he did have. Uh, he's fighting uh, that one uh, sumo guy that he, uh, that was in the last episode, or last week's episode, I don't remember his name, I apologize. Um, he knocks him out, he doesn't visibly, vis uh, visibly show on screen that he knocks him off the arena, but he does knock him out and he's just laying there on the ground. And actually, uh, one of the other Universe 9 uh, fighters is going after Frieza. And they're actually teasing that Frieza is is probably going to break the rules and kill one of the fighters. But uh, by shooting a death beam at this green flying gargoyle motherfucker, he shoots, he shoots him on the wing and basically wounds him so he wouldn't be able to fly anymore, right? And uh, what ha what's actually really funny is that uh, this is actually towards the end of the episode when it happened. Um, the guy was being so, like, feared. Uh, Frieza was basically, like, making this guy really fucking scary. And this guy was so scared of Frieza that he eliminated himself. And for some reason, I thought that was so fucking funny because he got so scared of Frieza, he jumped off. Which basically cost him the entire, you know the existence of Universe 9, so I thought it was really funny. For some reason, I thought this was hilarious that this happened. I don't know why I thought it was so funny. 
It just was for some reason. I don't. I really don't know why. But anyways, back to Goku and the Tree of Dangers. Uh, they're uh, they're still fighting. Uh, they're still fighting, of course. And uh, Lavender actually po uh, takes out his poison. And in a preview that we saw uh, just just uh, last week, uh, of course, and a couple days ago, we saw that Goku had cloaked himself in this weird mystic uh, like uh, the barrier. I guess it actually it actually is a barrier to protect himself against Lavender's uh, poison, of course. Yeah, it's a barrier that basically protects him from Lavender's poison. And what was actually ironic is that uh, Gohan and Goku thought of the plan to be able to do that. And some people were thinking you know, this is some kind of new power-up because it almost looks like the same kind of power-up that Krillin got in a filler episode. But it doesn't really matter. It, it, it was just kind of like a cloak, a barrier to protect him from the poison, of course. And then later on in the episode, we actually do see the, the trio of dangers uh, you know, basically cornering Goku into their dangers triangle uh, technique, I guess. And basically, I like I like what Geekum said of how it basically was. It was almost like the Bermuda Triangle, where basically you're, if you're in it, you're fucked. So then there's nothing you can do. And Vegeta actually is, uh, is shows off a lot of really cool stuff uh, in this episode. He actually joins in with Goku. He's inside the triangle, the uh, dangerous triangle, of course, and he actually helps out Goku with the situation that is, that is going on. And then uh, Vegeta and Goku are basically fighting different fighters from the from Universe Nine. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just try to sum, uh, sum up sum it up the in the rest of the episode because this is all action, action, action. And for some reason, it's really hard for me to summarize and review the episodes that are going to be coming out in the next coming weeks or so. But uh, Goku is is fighting t uh, two f uh, fighters from Universe 9, obviously, and I don't know why it just came to my head, but one of the fighters that he was actually fighting had iron skin, and he kind of looked like a dragon creature. He reminded me from Igneo from Fairy Tail. Uh, let me know in the comments if some of you have watched Fairy Tail. I haven't watched Fairy Tail in forever. I, I had initially started watching it on Netflix because it was because uh, it was on Netflix at the time when I did started to kind of get myself into the anime genre and I liked it and then uh, I just kind of moved on from fairy tale I stopped watching it I almost want to get back into watching it again but uh, I don't know let me know if you guys actually do want to uh, let me know if you guys do want to you know basically let me know if you want if you want me to see fairy tale because I am thinking about going back and watching it but it's like there's so many anime on my mind that it's like uh, it's like I don't know, but uh, Vegeta is fighting uh, one of the Universe uh, Nine fighters, and it's basically like this cat bitch, I guess. <laughs> She's got really long nails. Uh, reminds me of uh, a Marvel hero or a Marvel fighter. Uh, Lavender punches him in the fucking gut. Uh, fast forward a little bit. Uh, Go Goku is, ba is fighting this igneo looking motherfucker, right? And his punches basically do nothing. They do nothing because he has iron skin and it's just not doing anything. Um, Vegeta gets uh, one of his arms encloaked with ice and he basically can't move the arm properly. And then, you know, uh, Vegeta caught uh, Lavender and uh, the cat whore <laughs> off guard. And that basically leaves the entire Universe uh, Nine's fighters all off guard and Goku and Vegeta single-handedly by themselves t took out the entirety of Universe 9. It was absolutely insane. They took out seven fighters like all at once. They took out seven fighters all at once. It was insane. And in the finale of the episode actually shows uh, the the danger, the trio of dangers uh, beam. I forget what it's called. Uh, forgive me for not remembering. But all three of them, Lavender, Basil, and Bergamo, all shoot off a, a key blast over at Goku and Vegeta. And Goku and Vegeta actually do something that I was hoping to eventually see uh, in the Tournament of the Power, because I feel like it could have definitely happened. And the two of them uh, shoot off a key blast, Vegeta shoots off the final flash, and uh, Goku shoots off a Kamehameha. And so put them both together and they basically turned turned it into a final Kamehameha and it looked really cool it was really cool and they knocked off the trio of dangers and 
you know, Universe 9 was just completely erased, uh, or knocked off the stage, fighting stage. They, uh, they had lost. Universe 9 had lost. And then it was time for the complete finale of the episode. And it is the it is time for the race of existence for Universe 9. The two Xenos on their on their uh, holy pad or whatever uh, knock off all of the fighters that are, are a part of Universe 9. Basil, Lavender, and Bergamo. Those were the only three left. And then they lifted both of their hands up in the air and wiped out Universe 9 of, ex of, of its existence. And it was done. They had just did it, you know? Uh, the, great, uh, the great priest announced that it happened and the fighters that participated in the, in, in the tournament, you know, and also the Supreme Kai and the God of Destruction, they were erased too. And that's kind of the finale of the episode. That's kind of just what happens. Uh, the ending of this episode, it was really crazy because you're sitting in your chair and you're like, holy shit, this happened and this happened and fighting is happening. And then all of a sudden there's, there's this is a huge uh, tone shift into like utter hype into like confusion and suspense and I thought that was really cool I I had a, just a whole like feel tone just completely tur it turned tables and I thought that was really well done and also uh, just to point out the animation a little bit uh, the episode did have a little bit of you know reused animation but it, it didn't really bother me that much because it was used uh, really well to the point where it just didn't really even bother me so it was kind of like whatever uh, the music was really good of course uh, voice acting is always going to be really good of course um, you know this whole episode was really cool it's really good and there's really no problems with it uh, the great priest in all uh, in the the great priest and the universe and universe nine's angel you know they kind of changed up their tone a little bit for some reason the great priest was a little bit more serious and the universe nine angel was kind of just sitting there almost seemingly not giving a shit about what just happened I don't I don't know it was a crazy episode uh, I would I would recommend you guys go and watch it enjoy it. It was, it was really good and shit, but you know, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here. If you guys did enjoy, it, of course, be sure to leave a like. And if you're brand new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe because I'm actually very, 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 very close to reaching 100 subscribers. I'm very, very close to hitting to hitting 100 subscribers. And it just seemed like two weeks ago that I hit 90 subscribers. So, th so thank you guys so much for the support. I, I, I can never thank you enough for the amount of support that you guys can give me on this small channel. With terrible commentary, of course. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys did enjoy, drop a like. If you want to see more videos just like this, be sure to subscribe. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Peace out.